Nicolas Cage bought a $276,000 stolen dinosaur head. What if I told you that in 2007, famous Hollywood actor Nicolas Cage was in a bidding war with another famous Hollywood actor, Leonardo DiCaprio, for a dinosaur skull that had been illegally imported to the US? This nonsense is impossible to believe. Hey and welcome back to our channel everyone, we'll talk about Nicolas Cage's dinosaur skull theft today. Let's get started. Nicolas Cage is returning a stolen dinosaur skull in real life, which sounds like a scene from the National Treasure film. The actor has agreed to hand over a rare Tyrannosaurus Batar skull to US authorities, according to Reuters. Mongolia will receive the skull as a gift. Cage outbid Leonardo DiCaprio for the piece in Beverly Hills Gallery in 2007, paying $276,000 for it. Cage in the I Am Shake Gallery, where the actor purchased the skull, has not been charged with any wrongdoing. The skull of a Tyrannosaurus Batar is approximately 67 million years old. Bahara's office has recovered over a dozen Mongolian fossils since 2012, including three complete Tyrannosaurus Batar skeletons. The skull had been taken from Mongolia's Gobi Desert, and the buyer was Nicolas Cage, an actor who had acted in a movie trilogy about the hunt for rare treasures among his hundreds of films. In a statement, Glenn Sorge, a special agent with Mr. Bahara's office, said cultural objects like this Batar skull from a component of Mongolian national cultural heritage, it belongs to the Mongolian people. These valuable treasures will not be sold as souvenirs to private collectors or hobbyists. In recent years, many skeletons of Tyrannosaurus Batar, a big carnivorous dinosaur related to the Tyrannosaurus Rex, have been repatriated to Mongolia. According to Reuters, Mr. Prokopi has helped prosecutors find at least 17 more fossils. Private purchases of such relics have alarmed paleontologists because they make it more difficult for scientists to learn more about how dinosaurs lived in the past. We're losing science, we're losing education, we're losing valuable specimens, Kevin Payton, a paleontologist of the University of California, Berkeley, told the Times after the sale of the skull in 2007. Mr. Cage is a recognized collector with interests in real estate, rare cars, and comic books, having sold a like new edition of the Action Comics No. 1, which featured Superman's first appearance for $2.1 million in 2011. Cage's publicist, Alex Sheck, claimed in an email that the author obtained a certificate of authenticity from the gallery and was approached by U.S. authorities for the first time in July of 2014 when the Department of Homeland Security notified him that the skull had been stolen. Cage agreed to hand over the skull after investors determined that it had been unlawfully stolen from Mongolia, according to Sheck. According to court documents, Prokopi's prosecutor, assistant U.S. attorney Martin Bell, was also the lead government lawyer in the Cage case. Tyrannosaurus Batar, like, was a carnivorous dinosaur that lived around 70 million years ago. It remains that have only been discovered in Mongolia, which made exporting dinosaur fossils illegal in 1924. The dinosaur skull was an unfortunate thing because I did spend $276,000 on that, he told the magazine's David Marchese. I bought it at a legitimate auction and found out it was abducted from a Mongolia illegally, and then I had to give it back. Of course it should be awarded to its country of origin, but who knew? Plus I never got my money back, so that sucked. Who was responsible for the theft of the Tyrannosaurus skull? It had already been determined that neither Cage nor the gallery were at fault, so now it was up to Florida collectors who had sold the fossil to Cage at auction to complete the transaction. According to various publications, a man called Eric Prokopi was suspected of being the collector. The skull in question belonged to a Tyrannosaurus batar, an Asian dinosaur that resembles Tyrannosaurus rex in many ways. At Wynn Perry of Life Science points out, the species has been in the news before, Heritage Auctions sold the complete skeleton of a T. batar for over $1 million in 2012. After being linked to a fossil smuggler named Eric Prokopi, the bones were returned to the Mongolian authorities a year later. Prokopi brought a whole Tyrannosaurus skeleton from Mongolia to the United Kingdom in 2012, and then from the United Kingdom to New York, where he sold it for almost a $1 million. He stated at the time that the fossil came from Great Britain, which is impossible because all the fossils of Mongolia are considered culturally significant, according to the Mongolian constitution. As a result, taking them out of the country is unlawful, and when the Mongolian government learned of the circumstances, they were able to prevent the payment of the skeleton by having the skeleton analyzed and concluding that it is Mongolian. As if that wasn't awful enough, he was also linked to many more fragments of fossil remnants of two more complete Tyrannosaurus skeletons. As a result, Prokopi was charged with smuggling and attempting to sell stolen property, not to mention that he made a number of incorrect comments in an attempt to refute various proportions of the account. In the end, he accepted a plea bargain that got him out of jail. As a result, he was forced to return the skeletons to Mongolia and serve a three-month prison sentence. In 2013, the skeletons would be returned and the entire ordeal would be given its own name. Despite the link, some reports claim that Cage's dinosaur skull was not part of their collection of the Prokopi had smuggled into the country. Other sources, on the other hand, appear to almost or completely confirm that Prokopi was the one who sold the Cage the Tyrannosaurus skull. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click on the bell to get the latest updates on our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching once again. We will see you all in our next video. Have a wonderful day. See you next time.